This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When you have a lot of data coming into your chart, sometimes you may wish to filter that data by the values within the graph. Let's take this chart as an example, the sample sales data by product chart. Now this shows every single product in the sales data and how many have been sold of each. So we can see a lot of products here. This is actually not even all of them because the font size is too big to display all of them, but all the points have been graphed. So these are total sales of each of the items. What would make this chart much more usable is if it just showed us the top 10 or top 20 selling products. So we can do that using the chart expert. So we take our chart, right click chart expert, then click on the data tab, go across to the group item, which is the item title, and then choose top N. We would like to control effectively the sort order of the chart, but in doing that, we can restrict it to top N. So let's say top N and have the top 10. So these are going to be our top 10 products. And we're not going to include any of the others, and we're not going to include ties. Okay, we are just in case the item that is in the 11th place actually sold the same amount as the item in 10th place, that effectively is classed as the tie. Okay, okay. And now our chart should only show 10 items, unless there are any ties. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there must have been two ties. We could do with changing the chart type. Chart expert. Let's go to a solid bar. We don't need the legend. So let's right click, chart expert, options, show legend, nope, because we've got the labels underneath. As before, we could change the labels, chart options, titles, we'll call that top 10 products. The label along the bottom will be product, and the data label will just be quantity. Okay, and we can even resize so our graph takes up a little bit more space. Even tempted to move these to the left and have the bars running the other way. So let's go to right click chart expert and have the bars horizontal instead of vertical. Okay, and then that looks much more presentable. So we can see the top selling product here is the fine china mug with horse theme print. I have 26 items. Second place, Makeup Mugs, 21. And then we move down, 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 until we hit a few at nine. And then anything less than that will have sold less than nine apiece. Let's save this file, save as. Sample sales data, top 10 products. Save. So that's using the group facility to restrict effectively the amount of bars in this case that are being produced by the graph. Extremely useful when you have a lot of items being graphed as we have here, a lot of products. And we would do that under the chart expert and data. This is the grouping field and top end, and that's where you would control it. On top of that, we've done some tidying up, changing the bars around to be horizontal instead of vertical, renaming the labels, things that we've covered previously anyway. This is the grouping of the data to restrict how much is being displayed. So that's OK, OK, and we have our end result.